It's time for Play in the Park! Hi everyone, I'm Kirsty from Play in the Park. Today we have the lovely Brooke. Hi. And do you know what we're making today? It's our very easy free ingredient cheese muffins. I used to like making this just before the boys got home from school in winter time because when they were growing as teens they were so hungry and it was a nice easy thing to have ready for them when they got home. So first Brooke, we're going to need milk. Yes, we'll put the flour in first so it's always mm -hmm. good to put the dry in first. So we're going to put everything in the one bowl and stir it up with our wooden spoon. I'll tip this one. Now this is two cups of self-raising flour in the bowl. Mm -hmm. Next we're going to need the same amount of cheese. So if you want me to pour it in and you can tip it. Two cups of grated cheese. Now our hands are nice and clean aren't they Brooke? Mm -hmm. You're going to tip that one in? One cup of cheese. This is a great one. You can get the kids to measure if they want to. It's pretty simple. Two of self-raising flour. Two of the grated cheese. And then just one and a half cups of milk. Super simple. I'm going to tip that one in. Put that over here. And one and a half of milk. You can mix that by get the milk ready. What else could we put in here, Brooke, to make it extra yummy if we wanted to? Sugar. Sweet. Sweet. Salt. Oh, we could. I was thinking more like we could add, oops, that's too much. One and a half cups it's supposed to be. We'll leave some of the milk in there. We could add tomatoes. Or herbs. Oh. Ham. I have good idea. What? what? We could put in like mint. Yes, we could put in minty cheese muffins. Or basil or oregano or chives. I think chives would be nice with cheese. Or strawberries. Strawberries and cheese. That would be interesting. You could experiment, couldn't you? See what was nice. So put your muscles into it. Stir it up, we've got to get all the flour mixed into the milk. If you get worn out, I can have a go because you're on that rolly chair, it makes it a bit hard, isn't it? Mm -hmm. The chair's moving more than your arm is. Okay. Stir, stir, stir. Now we'll get the, the muffin pan. We've put some oil in it so our muffins don't stick. And I'll let you into a great tip. Ice cream scoops are a great way to wait out amounts for kids and to get it into the muffin pan. Just scoop a nice big scoop of with your ice cream scooper. And squeeze. Once they get the hang of this, they can get the same amount in every pan. It's great. That looks good. How many muffins are we going to make today with this muffin pan? Mm, six. Six. Six is half a dozen. What do you think a dozen is if six is half a dozen? Twelve. Yeah, well done. That's clever. How did you figure that out? Mm, by counting to tw six and six. Six and six is twelve. That's right. So a dozen is twelve. Do you know what comes in twelves all the time? Do you want me to do some? I'm going to take um, over. Six? Eggs. Eggs always come in 12 because when we buy eggs, we get a dozen eggs, don't we? Yeah. yeah. We could have these for lunch. We could have them for lunch. For very quick and easy lunch. Now these only take 15 or 20 minutes to cook in a moderate oven, so 180 mm. degrees Celsius. Might be really quick and easy. 
So these were just taking like 15 minutes to whip up before the boys got home from school. Great for winter. Should we, I'll go and put them in the oven now, hey? Mm -hmm. And we'll let you have a look when they're finished. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so our cheese muffins are cooked. They're out of the oven. They only took about 15 minutes. Brooke, would you like to taste one? Going for the biggest one. Are they hot? Are they yummy? Mm -hmm. Excellent. We can make them anytime you like. Hope you all enjoyed watching our how to make our cheese muffins. We'll see you all later. Bye.